what you see, be like a battery. I'm staying charged on my feet, I'm like a factory. How you doing guys? Welcome to ZookaTube and today we're going to be reviewing Superman and Lois Season 1 Episode 14, The Eradicator. Man, excited to talk about this show again after the ridiculous pause we had. Ugh. But, right? So I'm going to play the little promo they got here. I got a couple clips to play, a little summary action going on. I'll give you my review and then we'll go into some spoilers. But let's play this promo. Very secrets that keep you safe. We need to tell people the truth, no matter how scary it is. What are we gonna do? I don't know. Two episodes left. Awesome stuff. I'm excited for this finale, man. Okay, so right in the last episode, they show like Lana and her family were getting like a lot of flack from the community, and Morgan Edge was turning into the Eradicator at the end of the episode, right? And Morgan Edge, a.k.a. Tauro, is up absorbing the sun and its energy for like three weeks up in this this episode, right? And Lana had an open house inspection. You know, they're thinking about leaving Smallville. Um, the article came out that slammed the DOD, gets released, you know what I mean? <clears throat> and there's a lot of drama basically going on throughout the town and throughout all the different families, right? And they show Clark talking with Lana about her leaving Smallville and she, you know, how Smallville has changed along with like Sarah mentioning no one's going to want to move there anytime soon. And just everybody's real down and out. And then the, the town just seems to be really going to shit like right off the bat. Right. And you see like a protest where the people are upset and confused about Morgan Edge and the DOD. And they got to do a lot of PR for this whole thing to try to kind of calm the waters, you know. But then they show Jonathan and Jordan, right? They go to a party and you find the girl that was with Jonathan in the last episode is from Central City, right? And moved there after like her dad went to prison and maybe like her dad's like going to be a villain potentially. I, I don't know what they're getting at with that whole thing, but she's kind of investigating, you know, and, and she's seen the little sus, right? And then uh, you see, right? Morgan Edge gains full power and goes and breaks out Leslie Laser Eyes out of her like whole prison, right? And then they go to Metropolis and he's full eradicator and he can give people Kryptonian like powers. Now, at this point, like all hell breaks loose and you kind of have to see them dealing with this in the episode. So from here on out, I'm going to call it spoilers, right? But man, this episode is awesome. It's super action packed. And again, they're killing it. Like, I, I have no idea how, like, this doesn't seem like an amazing finale potential episode. Uh, maybe that is, the, maybe this was the original finale, and the, the episodes after this are going to be, like, the added on episodes. But either way, man, this is, like, a 9 out of 10. And I, I just want to show you, like, when the, the, the Kryptonian, like, powers and everything starts to happen you got to see like these awesome clips but i'm just going to throw them all right into the spoiler section you know because uh it's just really cool stuff and i don't want to get into the, all the details too deep just in my little summary here so spoiler time spoilers spoilers so spoiled all right so man Okay, so like everything's going crazy and everybody can get like Kryptonian like powers now from from Tauro. Well, I'm just going to keep calling him Morgan Edge, right? And Lois goes to the roof to report on what's happening and it shows like kind of a clip similar to her death from the from Steel's Earth, right? But it almost happens again with Leslie Laser Eyes, but like Steel throws his hammer into that broad and it's a crazy clip. Like, let me just play this. And all of the people he has infected. John, this is how she died. See, they recognize this whole part, right? Lois, They're like, you. oh, dip. Connecting in three, two, one. But there's Steel. Gets the hammer. You missed. Check it out. Check it out. Ready? Bonk. <laughs> so good. Yo, that shit was so funny. Yo, so good. And I got another one. That was awesome, right? I thought that shit was so was so hilarious. Like and it just fucking bonked her right right in the side of the head. So that all goes down, right? And General Lane shows up at like this party the kids are at and takes the kids home. 
and you see Morgan Ed shows up and smacks the vehicle, right? And snatches up Jordan. And um, he then like amplifies Jordan's power and puts the consciousness of his father into him. So like, let's just, let me just show you this clip. Because they're obviously mourning. They're freaking out. Because Clark, you know, tries to find him, but can't. You know, so they're freaking out about the whole situation. And then, boom. Here's here's the Eradicator, Morgan Edge. Just amplifying, amplifying, and just transferring that consciousness into him. Come on, Curly Q. Dun dun dun. Well done, my son. <laughs> the voice, though, that's funny. Now, let's begin. It's funny because, like, he looks so young, but he's doing that, like, old voice. That That's really hilarious. But, man, what a crazy episode, right? Like, this, you would think that was a finale right there. Like, right off the bat. I mean, the, the past couple episodes have been really, really good. And I'm just so excited to see this finale and to see what they could have in store for the next season. This is, the like, easily the best show that DC has to offer that wb or cw or whatever's been doing i really enjoy this first season better than the first season of anything i've seen so far again nine out of ten everybody check this out superman and lois ah oh, good stuff right here all right zuka tube out